Hey guys, this is going to be another studio version of sorts of the trivia shows we do for you. I want to start again by thanking all of you for hanging out and checking it out and thanking the band that will be in the background for this show. It is Rabbit Hole Handbook. They're a great band. Check them out. If you get a chance here in the Valley, anywhere else in the country where you may be watching this, you can find their stuff on SoundCloud, Spotify, and all the other streaming services. Rabbit Hole Handbook is Hernan Perez on guitar, Brian Post on bass, Elliot Jackson Scott Roush on keys, and Cameron LaForest on drums. All right, I hope you guys are all doing great. We've had a phenomenal uh, week here, and we're looking forward to the week to continue, as I hope you are as well. And let's start the show. First question, in what state is Mount Rushmore located? Again, in what state is Mount Rushmore located? This song here is called Aftermath. The presidents on Mount Rushmore are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. It was shaped from the Black Hills or in the Black Hills with 60 foot heads. Again, that was in what state is Mount Rushmore located? The uh, sculptures are in an area originally known by the Lakota Sioux as the Six Grandfathers and sits on sacred land to the Native American tribe. And that was in what state is Mount Rushmore located? And that is South Dakota. And the next question, in the fantasy adventure novel and movie, Watership Down. What animals are featured, are the featured main characters? It's a story of animals that live in their natural environment with their own culture, but after a destruction of the habitat in which they live, they seek a new place to establish a home. And that facing the perils and temptations along the way that come with that. Again, that question was, in the fantasy adventure novel and movie Watership Down, what animals are the featured main characters? The book was banned in China because the humans and animals are seen as being on the same level. Some believe it was a metaphor for communism or a take on Christianity. But the author said, it's just a book about, again, in the fantasy adventure novel and movie Watership Down, what animals are the featured main characters? The book is just about rabbits. Next question, what is an animal that eats both meat and foliage called? Again, what is an animal that eats both meat and foliage called? A carnivore eats meat, and an herbivore eats greens. Some examples of the type of animal we are asking about are bears, birds, dogs, pigs, champions, chimpanzees, squirrels, and humans. Again, what is an animal that eats both meat and foliage called? It is called an omnivore. Next question. What is the only Major League Baseball team that has never been in the World Series. Again, what is the only Major League Baseball team that has never been in the World Series? Only this team has never been in the World Series. But, other teams that have never won it are the Colorado Rockies, the Milwaukee Brewers, the San Diego Padres, the Tampa Bay Rays, and the Texas Rangers. Again, what is the only Major League Baseball team that has 
never been in the World Series, that would be the Seattle Mariners. And the next question, what child star has made the most money in their career? Again, what child star has made the most money in their career? This person earned over $600 million. Some other very high earning child stars with just a little less are the Olsen twins, Mary Kate and Ashley, Leonardo DiCaprio, Justin Timberlake, Reese Witherspoon, Ron Howard. Again, what child star made the most money in their career? And that would be Elizabeth Taylor. Next question. Who was the last female ruler of Russia? Again, who was the last female ruler of Russia? She reigned over Russia for 34 years, longer than any other female in Russian history. As Empress, she westernized Russia, leading the country into full participation in the political and cultural life of Europe. She championed the arts and reorganized the Russian law code, carrying on the work begun by Peter the Great. Again, who was the last female ruler of Russia? Throughout her life, she had many lovers and was well known to pick men who she could manipulate to fill roles in her government. With no heir apparent, she died at 67 from a stroke. Again, that was, who was the last female ruler of Russia? That was Catherine the Great. Next question. Who is the oldest first lady in US history? Again, who is the oldest first lady in U.S. history. The youngest ever was Frances Folsom, who married Grover Cleveland while he was president in the White House at the age of 21. The second youngest was Jackie Kennedy, who was only 31 when John took office. And that was, who is the oldest first lady in U.S. history? Many first ladies have lived very long lives with Bess Truman living to the age of 97, Nancy Reagan and Larry Bird, <laughs> Lady Bird Johnson lived to 94, and Betty Ford lived to 93. Again, that was who's the oldest first lady in U.S. history? Barbara Bush lived is 91 is still living and Rosalind Carter is 89 and still living. The oldest first lady in US history is Dr. Jill Biden. And the next question, what player has the second most receptions in NFL history? Again, what player has the second most receptions in NFL history. With 1,549, Jerry Rice has the most. This player, this receiver that I'm asking about has been on the same team his whole career and has over 1,400 receptions. The players with the third most is Tony Gonzalez, and fourth is Jason Witten, both being tight ends. The fifth is Marvin Harrison, who is also a wide receiver. Again, what player has the second most receptions in NFL history? That is the Arizona Cardinals' own Larry Fitzgerald. Next question. What are the names of the Hawaiian Punch mascots? Again, what are the names of the Hawaiian Punch mascots? 
They were created by artists Bob Giudi and John Uri of the ad agency Atherton Pivot in 1961. And the ad was first aired on a commercial in 1962. Again, that was, what are the names of the Hawaiian Punch mascots? Hawaiian Punch was first created in 1934 as an ice cream topping. And soon people realized that it was, a great, it was great when added to water. One of the characters often punched the other. Again, what are the names of the Hawaiian Punch mascots? That is Punchy and Oaf. This song here is called Pocket Universe. Again, this song is called Pocket Universe by Rabbit Hole Handbook. Next question. Which U.S. city gets the most sun? Again, which U.S. city gets the most sun? The state this city is in gets the most sun. Followed by New Mexico, Nevada, Texas, California, Colorado, Oklahoma, Kansas, Utah, and Florida. Again, that was which city, which U.S. city gets the most sun. The cities that follow in sunniness are Phoenix, Las Vegas, Fresno, Tucson, El Paso, and a few other cities in California. Again, which U.S. city gets the most sun? That is Yuma, Arizona. And the next question. Who directed the Batman in which Michael Keaton portrayed the title character? Again, who directed the Batman in which Michael Keaton portrayed the title character? All right, Michael Keaton was Batman in two movies so far and is returning to portray Batman in the next version in The Flash. In the 90s, Keaton stopped portraying the character after this director decided not to continue. Again, who directed the Batman in which Michael Keaton portrayed the title character? This director is known for his gothic fantasy and horror films such as Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow, Planet of the Apes, Big Fish, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Alice in Wonderland. Again, who directed the Batman in which Michael Keaton portrays the title character? That is Tim Burton. Next question, what is the name of the town in New Mexico? that has long been associated with UFOs. Again, what is the name of the town in New Mexico that has long been associated with UFOs? 65% of Americans believe that life exists on other planets and a little under 15% believe it is a serious threat. 33% believe that UFOs are visitors from other planets. Again, that question was, what is the name of the town in New Mexico that has long been associated with UFOs? In 1947, a weather balloon crashed near this city and many thought it was a UFO. The claim got substantiated when a retiring general in the late 1970s said the balloon story was a cover-up. There are many official and unofficial stories that attract many visitors yearly to this town. And again, that question was, what is the name of the town in New Mexico that has long been associated with UFOs? That would be Roswell, New Mexico. And the next question, what was the first animated television show to be broadcast in prime time? Again, what was the first animated television show to be broadcast in prime time? 
It first started running in 1960 and was the first show that had a couple in a bed together. Other primetime animated shows that ran for long times are The Simpsons, which has run for the longest, The Bugs Bunny Show, The Jetsons, Family Guy, King of the Hill, American Dad, and my favorite, Bob's Burgers. Again, what was the first animated television show to be broadcast in prime time? And that would be The Flintstones. And the next question. What was the first PG-13 movie? Again, what was the first PG-13 movie? PG-13 was made in 1984. The first movie issued the rating was The Flamingo Kid. But this movie was released to the theaters first. The movie that caused this rating to be invented was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. George Lucas was going through a divorce and Steven Spielberg was going through a breakup, so the movie came out quite dark. Temple of Doom, that is. And parents expressed their concern and the rating was created. Again, that question was, what was the first PG-13 movie? And that would be Red Dawn. Next question, what is the oldest fast food burger chain in the world? Again, what is the oldest fast food burger chain in the world? <clears throat> they say they were the first to sell one billion burgers and are now 100 years old. The business was started with only $700 in Wichita, Kansas, but hasn't had a location in that city since 1938. Again, the question was, what is the oldest fast food burger chain in the world? Its biggest location in the world is in Orlando, Florida. The burgers have an essence of onions in the meat due to the way they are cooked, and they are sold in multi-packs. Again, that is, what is the oldest fast food burger chain in the world? They just opened one here in Scottsdale. That would be called White Castle. Next question. What common girl's name was invented by Shakespeare? Again, what common girl's name was invented by Shakespeare? The oldest written record of this name and its current spelling is in The Merchant of Venice, in which she is the daughter of the moneylender Shylock. The name was created by angelicizing the biblical name Iska, meaning vision in Hebrew. Again, the question was, what common girl's name was invented by Shakespeare? Shakespeare also invented the words eyeball, addiction, bedazzled, swagger, assassination, and many others. Some other names he invented are Olivia, Miranda, and Othello. And the question was, what common girl's name was invented by Shakespeare? And that would be Jessica. Next question. Who is the most decorated U.S. Olympic gymnast? Again, who is the most decorated U.S. Olympic gymnast? She has a total of 30 Olympic and World Championship medals. She was born in Columbus, Ohio, but was put into foster care until her grandfather adopted her and raised her in Spring, Texas. Again, the question was, who is the most decorated U.S. Olympic gymnast? She has dual citizenship with the U.S. in Belize. With all of her training, she finished her high school as a homeschooler and then committed to UCLA. Again, that question was, who is the most decorated 
U.S. Olympic gymnast. That would be Simone Biles. And the next question. What was the deadliest battle in World War II? Again, what was the deadliest battle in World War II? The battle caused around 2 million casualties between the Soviet and Axis forces and stands as the worst military disaster of the century. It is one of the bloodiest battles in history and one of, was one of the most major battles of World War II. Again, the question was, what was the deadliest battle in World War II? It was an egotistical move by Hitler because of his hatred for Stalin. The troops fought feverishly and even had hand-to-hand -hand combat in the streets until the final defeat of the German forces. Again, the question was, what was the deadliest battle in World War II? And that would be the Battle of Stalingrad. This song here is Kaleidoscope. Again, check out Rabbit Hole Handbook if you ever get a chance. Next question. What person started Rastafarianism? Again, what person started Rastafarianism? The Rastafarianism movement started in the 1930s after a prophecy from this man. He led an organization called the Universal Negro Improvement Association that was meant to unify people of African origin with their homeland, which is specifically Ethiopia. Again, what person started Rastafarianism? Bob Marley helped significantly in spreading the word and reached a much larger, uh, larger audience and helped magnify the marijuana connection with this religion. Again, the question was, what person started Rastafarianism? That would be Marcus Garvey. And the last question, what was Gilligan's first name on Gilligan's Island. Again, what was Gilligan's first name on Gilligan's Island? It was only used once in the never aired pilot of the show. Gilligan was played by Bob Denver on the show that was and was often referred to as Little Buddy. Again, the question was, what was Gilligan's first name on Gilligan's Island? The backstory is he saved the skipper's life in the never clarified war and after the skipper used his savings to buy the minnow he called on his little buddy to be the first mate the way the minnow got shipwrecked on an uncharted desert isle was gilligan threw an anchor in the water without a rope attached during a storm and again the question was what was gilligan's first name on gilligan's island and the answer is willie I want to thank you all for hanging out. I want to thank in particular Rabbit Hole Handbook, which is Hernan, Hernan, Brian, Elliot, and Cameron. I want to thank my girlfriend, Elisa, for supporting me from the beginning with this project. I want to thank my mom, my dad, and my brother for supporting me from the beginning of everything. And I want to thank every last one of you for hanging out and checking this out. Everyone take care of yourselves and each other, and may peace be with you.